Um, so everything is not black and white. That's what I have to tell myself. Because I woke up later today. I woke up at, I don't know, 10, 15. Because I went to bed a little late because I was withholding the impending doom of me going to sleep and having to get up and deal with everything. Which I still haven't dealt with. That letter that I need to do. I mean, not that, well, the letter I did. Look up, um, check my credit card, check, like, check for all these charges and deal with it, you know? I, I'm still withholding on it. And... Already I wake up and I'm like, my day is, my day is already ruined, you know? It's already, um... I was gonna do, wash that, but first I'm gonna put on a shirt. It's, it's just like... It's so in my head, and then I'm realizing that, as I just said, everything's not black and white. Me and my perfectionism and everything, and then my day is everything in a negative light. And it's like, last week, Sunday, I went to the gym later on at night. And I was saying, okay, I'll do that today if, if I feel up to it. Like, I won't, I, if I don't go to the gym, I don't go to the gym. Tomorrow I'll go. But if I feel, if I got some things done, I need to kind of distract myself, I can go to the gym. That's, that's my goal for today. Do what I can and then go to My gym's 24 hours, so it's okay. But then I have to kind of get everything in uh, my head that it's not, it's okay if everything's not on the same schedule. But it's really hard. It's really hard. I mean, there are a few good things. I mean, I'm not obsessing with, over my hair that much now. I seem to have something that's down pat that is working for it and it feels nice and it's, I don't have to take care of it all the time besides the, the very minimal. I, I was obsessing over my hair over for decades, you know, so now I have something that, okay, it looks like it's working, it's not expensive, it's not that time consuming, sometimes it is, but not much. It's like I focus on other things and I'm, you know, I'm realizing that my, tra my training, the same thing, I used to obsess over it for decades, you know, I had problems with my shoulders and all the joints, you know, because that's what overdoing it with working out does to you. But now I, things are kind of moving forward on the shoulder front and my strength is going up and my eating habits too, you know. It, it's like everything is just such a slow process and can I survive in the time that uh, that it takes to to change. That's my issue, and uh, it's a financial issue right now. Dealing with, um, still dealing with the companies. And am I going to go bankrupt? And I'm not. I don't have an income, and or enough of an income. Are they going to take away the condo? Like all these thoughts that I don't want to put in my mind, but I'm just blurting them out now without going into too much detail, because I don't want to think about it, you know? So... I, you know, I'm shooting videos like this, but then I'm not dealing with the French side of it, and I'm not dealing with some of the editing videos for the other channel, and it's like, I can't do a million things in one day, and so I feel bad when I let one thing go and then put another thing on, because they're all important. You know, and then I, and then to balance my life off with other things and to making friends and the social circle and stuff like that, it's just a lot of things. And so then, if one thing doesn't go well, I think that everything doesn't go well, and it's not 
True. <laughs> I hesitated saying that. It's, it's not true. So, yeah.